Hello, hello, welcome back to another video. Today we will be looking at Grand Theft Auto 5, and specifically it will be about Pegasi and Groti cars. So my CEO office, which is what we are in right now, has three garages, and the first one, uh, specifically today we will be looking at, is the Ferrari or Lamborghini cars. I like bunching the cars together, try to organize them, so I thought I'd show you guys what, what they look like all together. There are a few variants that I have in other places, but I'm not going to show them because I don't really feel like they're actual Lamborghini or Ferrari cars. For example, the Mark II Oppressor or the Vigilante, uh, those guys there. But I do have the Ignis and the Torador. So I'm not going to show the Torador, that was in my last video. Uh, but yeah, I'll go over to the Ignis location later on. So on this bottom floor, it is Grody's. So to begin with, we have the Bestia GTS, or in real life, it's comparable to the Ferrari FF. This car has a rough top speed of 118 miles per hour uh, with a cost of $610,000. Next up is the Itali GTO. This car is actually very bouncy to drive around. I think Rockstar had an issue when they added it to uh, the game, and it's whenever you drive, you're always flying all over the place. It is based off the Ferrari 812, and it's just short of $2 million. And has a top speed of about 128 miles per hour. Next up is the Turismo Classic, uh, and this guy has the HSW upgrade. Uh, that is the yellow one over there. And it is based off of the F40 and has a base price of 705000 With the HSW upgrade, I think it's about 900000 for it. So with the HSW upgrade, it's got, it goes about 150 miles per hour. Um, without the HSW upgrade, it's about 121 miles per hour. Next up is the Cheetah Classic. This car goes for about 865000 and it is based off of the Testarossa and has a top speed of about 120 miles per hour. Next up is the Stinger GT. This car goes for about $875,000 and based off of the 250 GTO with a top speed of 112 miles per hour. Next up is the GT500. Uh, this car is $785,000 and is based off of the 250 GT as well, but the short wheelbase. And some people actually compare it to uh, that old BMW 507, I think it was. Uh, this guy has a top speed of 110 miles per hour. Now we will be going up to the Pegasi or Lamborghini floor. This first car is a Lamborghini Toros or compared to the Urus in real life. Uh, it is the only Lamborghini SUV in Grand Theft Auto currently. There was an old one back then in real life. I forget what it's called. This one goes for $498,000 and has a top speed of 127 miles per hour. At the time, it was actually one of the fastest SUVs you could get. Actually, I think that's in GTA and in real life, not just uh, GTA. I was originally thinking it was the fastest. Next up is the Tempesta. This car goes for $1.3 million. I think it's a little bit over that. This one is in comparison to the Huracan uh, in real life and has a top speed of 121 miles per hour. Next up, we have the Lamborghini Reaper, uh, or Pegasi Reaper. Uh, it goes for about $1.6 million and is based off of the Centenario in real life and has a top speed of 121 miles per hour as well. And next up, we have the Zentorno. This car goes for $725,000, top speed of 122 miles per hour and is based off of the Aventador. Next up, we have the Torero. This car goes for $1 million and is based off the Countach uh, with a top speed of roughly 117 miles per hour. Next up, we have the Infernus Classic. This car goes for $915,000 
and is based off of the Diablo. Uh, has a top speed of 118 miles per hour. Next is the Monroe. Uh, this classic car is one of my favorite ones at a cheap price of $490,000 and is based off of the Mura um, with a top speed of 122 miles per hour. And on the top floor, I have a mixture of the two uh, with pretty much the best production models of each one. I tried to put them together. I thought it would look nice seeing all the best ones together. So first up, we have the Pegasi Zeruso. Uh, forgive me if I'm pronouncing these wrong, but I think that's what it is. Goes for about $1.9 million and is based off of the Zeruno uh, with a top speed of 124 miles per hour. Next up is the only electric Lamborghini uh, called the Tesseract. This car goes for $2.8 million, so it's on a steep end there. It is based off of the Torzo Millennio, I think is how you say it. I <laughs> probably butchered that. Uh, and with a top speed of 125 miles, miles per hour, which is actually pretty respectable for an electrical vehicle, at least in GTA. Next up is the Grody Vision or Vision A, goes for $2,250,000 uh, based off of the Exery concept and goes at about 125 miles per hour. And then we have the Itali RSX, which is one of my most favorite Ferraris in the game uh, at a whopping $3.5 million. Uh, there is a trade price though, uh, which is good, so you can go for that. It is based off the SF90 with a top speed of 135 miles per hour. Next up is the Grody Furia. Uh, it goes for $2.7 million. Also has a trade price, so that's good. Uh, it is based off of a few different Ferraris, mostly the 488 Pista and the SF90 as well, I would say. Uh, this car is fairly fast too, uh, 122 miles per hour. Next up is the Turismo R. Uh, this car goes for $500,000 right on the dot and is free for actually the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack people. So if you buy that package, you can get it for free. It is based off of the LaFerrari. So one of the most iconic Ferraris ever has a top speed of 122 miles per hour. And last but not least is the X80 Proto. This car goes for $2.7 million. It's based off of the Ferrari F80 concept with a top speed of 128 miles per hour. So that was all of my main Ferraris and Lamborghinis, or Grotis and Pegasis. Now I'm going to make my way over to my agency office where I have my two Ignises, the weaponized and the non-weaponized ones. So now the hard part is trying to decide what I want to drive over with. <laughs> I'm thinking probably the GTO. I do like the, the speed of it, but the bounciness is... Uh, is a big factor why I don't like driving it. I think I'm gonna start it up, see if that uh, gives me any goosebumps and makes me wanna drive it. Not quite, maybe something a little bit older. Actually, you know what? The Stinger GT I haven't driven for a very long time, so it's probably a good idea to take it out for a rip. I love how GTA or Rockstar makes it so such an old car can have a huge turbo sound to it. It's just funny to me. <laughs> Sounds really good, but I don't think it's that realistic. So over here is my agency. I'm just gonna go straight to the garage and hopefully that'll get me straight into it. And like I mentioned before, I do have some other Pegasi and Grody vehicles like the Vigilante, uh, the Tor
Corridor, the Flying Mark II Repressor Bike, the Mark One, those types of cars. I don't really consider them, aside from the Torador, actually, uh, like actual Lamborghini or Ferrari cars, so I'm not going to really in uh, include them. I think even the Batty 801 is actually a Pegasi, in, at least in the game, so it would be classified as a Lamborghini, but not, not in my book, so I kind of overlooked it. So with the contract update, they introduced uh, two different versions here. Or actually with the Xbox Series X or PS5 update, they introduced the two versions. So it's the Weaponized Ignis or the Base Ignis. The Weaponized one is way faster as it has the HSW mods to it. Uh, brings it up from 124 miles per hour to 146 miles per hour. So again, one of the, the highest speed vehicles in the game. Um, the weaponized one goes for $3.2 million, and the non-weaponized one is $2.7 million. So they're both fairly quick cars. Obviously, the HSW is going to be a lot quicker. And it's based off, uh, I think it's pronounced the Scion FKP uh, 37 Lamborghini. I'm not sure if I said that correctly, but yeah, those are all of my Lamborghinis in the game currently. Let me know which one you guys like the most, and I will see you in the next one.